Today, we're making a haunted house. Some assembly required. We've been looking forward to this for a really long time. I think it was probably last Halloween that we saw somebody on the internet, I can't remember who it was, <laughs> make a dollhouse into a haunted house. And it was awesome! And we wrote it down. We're like, oh my goodness, next Halloween, <laughs> make a haunted house. I write everything down. Um, so today we're going to make a kind of boring Michael's birdhouse into a creepy haunted house. Let's do it. Let's do it. The first thing you need to do is paint the house. Yeah, it's looking way too much like cheery new construction. So I grabbed a selection of colors just to start with. Uh, mossy green, shiny black, shiny purple, matte black, and a kind of dark silver. First, all the walls get some matte black, plus the ground, fence, and the chimney. The windows will be purple for a little contrast. The roof and the steps get a coat of metallic black. My cousin mixed a dark green for the walls, which looks awesome and creepy. Mm-hmm. After the first coat, we'll just let everything dry a little bit. For a little age and texture on the roof, we're thinking maybe some moss? So Lily is dry brushing a little bit on with kind of a stiff brush and then dabbing some off with a paper towel so it's not too mossy. It looks cool! And the green is kind of matte, so it's a nice contrast with the shiny roof. After the walls are dry, I'm going to sand them so they look older. Yeah, and no need to worry about taking too much off, because we can always add more paint. The next part of our plan involves these little silicone molds. We thought that these might be a good way to make decorations for our houses. We used molds in a maker crate once for polymer clay, so maybe these will work too. Hope so. They're supposed to be for fondant, but not today. Basically, all you do is squish bits of the polymer clay into the mold a little at a time. I try to pay a little extra attention to the details and the pokey outy bits to make sure they get filled. I'm making the skeleton. And I'm starting with the bats. The pointy bits are tiny and skinny and a little bit don't want to stick, so I am just filling them as much as I can. I think I have a pretty good idea for the bats. If I stick some thin wire into the back, I bet we can make it look like they're flying around the house. So I'll just cut off little sections of wire, probably kind of on the long side, but that's okay, and poke them into the back of each one. Now they're all ready to go into the oven at 275 degrees for 15 minutes per quarter inch. While the clay is baking and cooling down, I'm making some popsicle sticks into old boards to board up the windows. Using a skinny little file, I'll make the ends look jagged like they're old and broken. And then scratch some wood grain lengthwise. I'm also filing along some of the long edges to make them look as beat up as I can. You could also hit them with a hammer or whatever else you can think of to make them look older. Mmm, nice and ragged. I'm actually pretty impressed at how good that turned out. The final step for the boards is a quick paint job. I just mixed some black, brown, and white watercolor and brushed it on. We still have some time to wait while the clay cools down. So how about a little witch broom? I put tacky glue around the end of a crooked stick I found outside. Then I'll just stick pine needles all around and let it dry. Later, after they've dried a little, I'll wrap some string around and add some hot glue to make them nice and secure. We maybe got a little tired of waiting and wanted to move them along. Then finally, We'll give the pine needles a little uneven trim so the broom matches the house. Finally, the clay is cool. Now I can pop out the skeleton. Oh, they look awesome. 
awesome! You have to peel the mold open a little bit for some of them, but they all came out! Now we'll use hot glue to attach the bones to the fence and board up the windows. Time for bats! I added a little dab of glue to the back to help strengthen the wires because I was not 100% confident that they wouldn't just pop out. But here they go! They come right out and they actually all stay together! Then they attach to the house pretty easily. You just figure out where you want it, snip the wire to the right length, and then hot glue it on. I was worried the wire would be hard to adjust once it was glued on, but it's not too bad. So just glue those guys on wherever you want. Finally, we are stretching some of that spiderweb stuff across for a creepy finishing touch. Ta-da! We're trying out some painty cotton ball as smoke here. But we might try to add some glue for structure. And here's Maya's. I like the look of the clay boarding up the windows. She also made a trick-or-treater. I'm not so sure about the candy you're gonna get from this house. This was so fun. I'm glad we finally tried this. Yeah, and now that we've practiced on this one, maybe next year we can try a full-size dollhouse, maybe from the thrift store or something like that. <laughs> I was not ready for that this year. <laughs> that was a lot. It's kind of a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Another cool thing about this project is that you could, you could spread it out over a couple different weeks. Maybe the first one you could paint it and then you could do something else each week until Halloween, like kind of a countdown to Halloween thing. Yeah. And maybe not try to jam it all in to one weekend. <laughs> not that we did that, we did. We definitely did. <laughs> but it was yeah. really fun. It was a fun weekend. <laughs> And there's probably more that we could do to this one. For example, the bones might be a little bit too white and shiny and bright. So maybe what we might decide to do is sort of go over them with a tannish, grayish kind of a color and just take them down a few notches with the brightness. Yeah. Make it fit a little bit better. <laughs> But, I mean, they're very exciting. Maybe they're a, it's a new bone fence. Yeah, it's, it's new. It, they just put it in this year. Yeah. <laughs> this week? <laughs> this week. Today. <laughs> so what else would you add to this house? Or what would you definitely make sure that you included in your haunted house? Leave us a comment down below. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video and you're not subscribed yet, you can do that right underneath the video and click the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Saturdays, so stay tuned for the next one. And until then, be awesome, and we'll see you then. Bye!